All right. So um, just bring this little tutorial follow up to my, <clears throat> my other tutorial I done a long time ago about um, about uh, lip sync. So uh, remember my prior prior pri prior excuse me I can't speak prior tutorial I spoke about how I use bones to uh, to get this guy's mouth to move. Uh, and this new, uh, the new way I'm doing it, the Cinema 4D, I'm not using any bones inside the mouth, as you can see. But if you look and you listen, I hope this isn't too loud, you will see that it actually, it actually does. There you go. It's a little slow because of the video capture. But let me get out of the camera real quick so you can look in here a little closer let's try again see there you go so what i did to achieve this quick and dirty method i'm not looking for like perfect lip sync i just want to have it somewhat decently sync so what i'm doing is um I get the sound effector and i add you can use default settings on the sound effector which is the mograph sound effector and then you get it here go to the sound file plug in your sound file whoever I already got mine in or your desktop or whatever you have it go to your character in this case it's this guy he's all joined it up and everything so go to his mesh his original mesh what you can do is go to create cinema tags, character tags, and do create a pose morph. When you do that, it's going to have an option if you want to do uh, points, rotation, polygons, and I used points, and I came to point mode, and I grabbed these points, and I pushed them down, and then when I was in the pose morph, it's, uh, you create and add a pose. I think there's one default, rename it. And then uh, when you go to this one, that's when you start pushing it down. There you go. And so you have your mouth and then your base. So that's pretty much what you do so far. Then you go to uh, Cinema 4D, create a new Espresso. And when you do that, you have it right here. What you're going to do once you get to Espresso is you grab your sound file, throw it in there, which I already did. Click on it and then there's not here click on the, the red and you'll see object it's already selected so then you're done then you go new node um, motion graphics sample and then you will click here and then you'll go to effector um, global matrix will already be selected I believe same up here and you come down here and then you se select strength which is already selected. Go to a new node, get another one, Espresso. This time we go to Calculate, Range Mapper. Now, um, it's going to be real important in a minute. Then lastly, you get your morph from your thing, which is this one here. This one I have for my eyes, so don't worry about that. I didn't automate that. That's, I didn't click them in manually. But on this one, you just grab this and boom, throw it in, and you got your pose morph in there. And we're almost done. And on here, go to the blue, hit uh, basic property no tag properties and go to strength because it's going to push your strength of that morph up and down according to the sample which and it gets the range from here so this is kind of like tells you how much so you click this guy click and drag it to this guy click and drag this guy to the strength it's already done here so I can't do it it'll turn green click from the object to the effect or effecto for some reason I don't know what's in it now the very crucial thing is before you get anything going you click double click on the range mapper and then on the on the um, parameters uh, you're gonna want the output upper at only like 0.1 and then the input upper I think it's really defaulted at one if not uh, don't you might want to tinker with these uh, I'll put lower and input lower. I didn't really have to mess with, but you can tinker with them if you want. If you do all that, um, you should. That should be it. 
so you should be all set again no boning no no bones no nothing and uh you should be able to have very fluid not perfect it's a little janky but it works um lip uh c4d lip sync you know you know Oop. it's not working because in here i gotta go put it back to animate make sure that's very important now if you look here it's going to be reading the strength and it's going to be popping it up and down according to the range mapper look Mira, mira. 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 Mira, so it's a very simple, very easy process. Um, if you need help, just leave a comment. I, I messed with this for a long time, and I just said, you know what? I don't want to be keep boning and skinning and everything. It's just a mess, and it's a lot harder the other method that I had previously posted. So um, this is a lot easier, and it's pretty, pretty fluid and. Uh, for what I'm trying to do, it works perfect. So, if you have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment. And, uh, happy renders.